Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to the new member orientation. You have got me, Jordan Pone, and my sidekick, my lovely sidekick, Stacy Duvall. And so we're going to talk about what CREA has for you and also what CREA can do for you. And so I've asked my good friend Alicia to help me out with this to best illustrate what CREA can do for you. So Alicia, when did you join CREA? I joined in June of 2019. And how many properties do you have? Eight doors. Eight doors for new people. Eight doors means she has eight different properties. Yeah. So within a little over a year, you have eight different properties? That was right out of year, right out of year. Okay, and you've been a member at CREA the whole time? Yes. Fantastic, and where do you find your contractor? My contractor's through CREA. Through CREA. Title mm -hmm. company? CREA. CREA. Um, do you have a full-time job? Yes, I do. Okay, so I hope people are learning from that, that somebody with a full-time job just got into Korea a little over a year ago, now has eight properties. We're not going to ask her what she charges. Properties can rent from 500 to uh, over 2,000, but she is well on her way. So I wanted to illustrate that it is possible for everyone on this phone call to be successful. Alicia is successful. There is no reason why you guys can't be successful. We'll do Q&A um, at the end if we have time. So real quick, so you know who's talking to you. My name is Jordan Pone. I was a, still am a real estate attorney, don't practice too much. I opened up a mortgage company a long time ago, ran that for about 15 years. Then we sold that. I got into funding people who wanted to renovate uh, their properties, flippers and whatnot, and joined CREA, and CREA has helped me now to grow the company, and we're five years in. I'm now on the board of directors, having a great time, and um, running a nice company with some other people. Stacey? So my name is Stacy Duval, and I'm also on the board of directors with Jordan and all of the other awesome folks. And I am a real estate broker here in Louisville and have been a real estate agent and now broker for 21 years. Um, I am also a real estate investor. I have a portfolio of properties. I also own Airbnb properties, also known as short-term rentals. And I'm also an interior designer. So I pick out all the materials and finishes on my flip projects. And I help a lot of investors within our club pick materials and design for their projects also. So we are part of NREIA, for those who aren't familiar with that acronym, National Real Estate Investment Association. And that may not seem important. We're the only group in Kentucky that is part of that association. Started in the late 70s, it's been around a long time. All volunteers, not for profit. And it is a real organization. And what do I mean by that? You're gonna see plenty of meetup groups, plenty of other meetings that you can go to. If there's one, and it's the first one I joined, that you really need to be a part of, it is CREA. It's got 700 members. When we get back to the in-person, meetings usually at least 250 people are there to network with we have president vice president secretary and whatnot board of directors 12 of them and then we have a parliamentarian who keeps us all on our p's and q's so uh, again we're a real organization the only one in kentucky um you can't just get certified by saying and raising your hand that I want to be certified by the National RIA. So you guys should know that. Stacey, anything? No, nope. we're good there. So the main meeting, which is going to happen, it's 
today, but the main meeting will be tonight. Um, we have the new member orientation that starts, as you guys know, at five o'clock. You guys won't attend unless you want to after this one. Then you can do networking between five and seven. However, there's always an early meeting to hit a topic. Tonight, it'll be our president, Chris McCarty, hitting how to use your IRA. So it's kind of a subtopic. It's not going to be the main topic that everybody, every investor will want to hear about. It's kind of a niche, but Chris knows how to do it and he can teach you how to do it. So if you want to go to the early meetings, great. If you don't, that's fine as well. You can network. You may hit some and not others. That's also fine. So dinner announcements is then done after the member orientation. And then the main meeting, which tonight will be Eric Heitzelberger. He's going to teach you all about financing, which every investor should know how to do. So that'll be a two hour main meeting. Again, not as niche as Chris's meeting. Um, it'll be for everybody. And that's why it's a two hour meeting. And every month we have a main meeting that goes for the two hours. It's the fourth Thursday of every month, important, not the last Thursday, the fourth. I messed that up in my first year <laughs> and I was out at Woodhaven by myself. So it's not the last Thursday, fourth Thursday. Stacy. The main meeting is where everyone needs to be. And until we can get back in person, it's always going to be on the Zoom and it is where you need to be. So all new members need to clear their schedule on the fourth Thursday of every month and be on this call. Same thing when we go to in-person meetings, everybody can clear their schedule for the first, fourth Thursday of every month. Try to clear it. Okay, so what are the benefits? Why should you be at that main meeting like Stacy and I? Just let you know. One, property pitches. You guys are gonna be new. <clears throat> You will not have time most likely to go find properties to either flip, rent, wholesale, whatever it might be. So people will go up to the front of the room and pitch their properties. A wholesaler might pitch three properties that he wants to sell. As a new investor, if you don't have time to go find them, this guy may have found them for you and will sell you one of his properties or multiple properties. So it is a great thing for everybody, a really great thing for new people like Alicia, who is working full time and may not be able to go out and find properties. Networking, socializing, 250 people plus, and these aren't any 250 people. You have got people who have been here since 1975, who have done everything from commercial to retail multi-unit, basically everything. So you'll find the person who has already done what you want to do. And you may not have decided what you want to do. And by talking to three, four, five of these people, you may then decide that what you thought you wanted to do may not be ultimately what you end up doing. Classroom training, that happens you know, again, in the early meeting, the main meeting, and then we have Saturday meetings as well. And you're always leaning from learning from people who are subject matter experts. Again, I'll give you the, the example of Chris McCarty, expert IRAs. He'll be giving the meeting tonight at 530. Stacey? It's one of the reasons that I love Alicia's story so much is because she joined CREA and she just started showing up events. And she started walking around the room asking questions. It's one of the reasons that her business has skyrocketed in this first short year for her is because she is not afraid to walk up and talk to anyone and network with all of the wealth of knowledge in our CREA member and just start asking questions. And it's one of the reasons that I love her story so much. So member benefits, what will you get from CREA? CREA newsletter. I don't know if you guys have received the first one yet. Hopefully, yes. 
this is just not a newsletter you should throw away when you get it. I've been a member for five years. I read it front to back. It is a wealth of knowledge that you will find in there. Articles, you will have people who advertise in there. You can find realtors like Stacy. You can find uh, lenders in there. You can find contractors in there, title companies in there. You can find everything in there. So read the newsletter. It gives you information, um, education, and then contractors and people that you are going to need to use when you become a true investor. Anything on that? I want to talk about the lots program. The lots program, we're going to get into a little bit more in detail on the next couple of slides. It's one of my favorite events. LOT stands for Learn on the Site. And it is one of our fellow investors who invites everyone out to their project and we can walk through the property. They, the host of the LOTS program talks about their numbers, how they acquired the property, what they paid for it, how much they put into it. And one of the things I find most invest, most uh, valuable for the LOTS program is the mistakes that they made. They didn't budget for this plumbing repair or this electrical repair. And the LOTS program is super beneficial and that's free for all members and they feed you lunch, which is even better. Even better. <laughs> and we will get into that a little bit more. I would say it's probably the most popular thing. That we One do. of the most for sure. One of the most yeah. popular because it's hands-on, on-site <clears throat> and it's, it's fun. So there's also rebates and we can get into that later, but you can get rebates. Um, National RIA has, um, <clears throat> I guess they have these for all across the country, if it's whether it's Home Depot or others that will give you a rebate just for being a CREA member. And then all these events are open to all members. So if you wanna to go to the LOTS program, you can do it or any of the other programs that um, CREA has. So here's our LOTS program. And you can see A, yes, there is a house that you can learn from, like Stacy just gave you all the information, what they did, what they didn't do, how they chose laminate versus granite, how they chose what flooring, mistakes they made, everything Stacy just told you. In addition, I put these people in here because another great networking site where, again, you have people that are sophisticated investors and you can learn from and can talk about that house um, with. So great networking, free lunch. It's exciting and fun. Should I say anything else? Because it's so important and people like it, I put a second slide. You can see how many people are here. It's a lot. It's very, very valuable. I'd love for all the new members to go to the next slide. It's really, it's super great. And that is the first Tuesday after this meeting, it's lunch time, right? I think that's right. Yeah. Noon, Tuesday after the main meeting. There are other events that you can go to. There are so many events, you won't be able to make them all. Pick the ones you can get to, go to those. Obviously the main meeting, the most important. We have a happy hour if you wanna get a beer, hang out with people. It's the first Thursday of every month. It's at Bear Nose in Plainview. They get a lot of people. I've been there before when I can make it. They'll get 30, 40, 50 people. I would say make it to as many as you can. The more you hang out with these people, the better for you as an investor. Um, I see Alicia at a lot of these different places. Uh, there's game night. You ask what game night might be. There's a guy named Hampton, very smart guy. He does a bunch of different things, landlord, wholesaling, flipping. He's the host. And there is a game that helps you become a better investor. It's really cool. So if you can make it, it's fun. Um, again, Bear Knows, Plain View. And then if you're looking to invest in Indiana, there's a subgroup in Indiana. Um, hop in there, get lunch, see what they have going on in Indiana. Anything, Stacy? Great so far. I'm going to let Stacy hit. <laughs> it's her favorite thing, the CREA directory. For those of you that are brand new members, 
you need to make sure <clears throat> you get a copy of this year's membership directory. I lovingly refer to this as the mothership of all information that you're going to need to run your real estate business. There is so much valuable information in this book that it will take you forever to get through it all and to read it all and make connections with all of these people. It is one of the most valuable things I use in my daily real estate practice. And someone in this group is going to chime in and tell you how to get your membership directory because I don't even know, you know, how they get it. <laughs> I'm think not sure. It might be, no. But you guys need to get your directory. So you need to reach out to someone and someone's probably going to chime in and tell you how to get it. It is free to all members. And if you don't already have it yet, you need to get it immediately. And as you can see, I have mine always near me. <laughs> I really do. We're on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter. There's a Facebook group for members only. You want to check that out. Instagram, YouTube, check them all out. Um, you never know which one's going to be your favorite, which one you're going to like the best. So I would check them all out um, and see which one you like. Good. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of going to summarize here, Korea.com. When you go to the website, you're going to connect with a lot of people. We do have, even though 250 to 300 will be at the meeting when we have them again at Woodhaven, we have 700 members. Just think about that, that number for a minute. I'm not sure any other group has more than maybe 100, 200. So this is the place to be. Um, we're part of the national group. We've talked about that. There's all kind of educational videos. You won't be able to watch them all. And then you can make new friends at any of the networking events, but definitely at the main meeting as well. Good? Yep. I would say Cree is not the great start. I would say it is the start um, if you're a real estate investor. And it might tell you you don't want to be one, but once you go there and you meet all the great people and realize what it can do for you, I think that it's going to emphasize how great real estate invest investing actually is. Like Stacy said, you've got to do your part though. You just can't go to Korea, stand in a corner and think it's going to come to you. When we get to the in-person meetings, we're going to have some stuff to help you because we're going to be doing these meetings when in person, we're gonna take you out and introduce you to people and you'll have some ambassadors that you can go to, but eventually you're gonna to have to not stand in that corner and get out like Stacy said, even if you're an introvert and introduce yourself to some people. Stacey? It's one of the most valuable things you can do for your business or any business is just start talking to people. It's why we keep harping on networking and coming to the game night and coming to the happy hour and then eventually our in-person meetings is to network with all of the people in the room and just start conversations ask a wholesaler out for coffee or find someone who is 20 or 30 years into this and invite them for coffee or lunch and say hey i would love to learn from you how can we work together the more you come to these events and network with the people in these rooms the the faster you're going to learn and the faster you're going to start growing your business. I may not have the story exactly right, but Stacy's been doing this for a while. And I think you just asked the person who started Korea out for coffee or something. I did. I did. Yeah. So not knowing the guy who started Korea. Okay. Stacy's not a newbie. She wanted to learn from him, asked him out for coffee, and I think you learned a great deal. I did. We're having coffee again tomorrow, too. So if she's doing it, you certainly can do it as well. I wasn't sure which story you were going with there. <laughs> so we can take some questions, I guess, John. I'm not sure how we would do that right now. As a matter of fact, we can take questions. And Rob, I don't know if you've been keeping track because you've been busy letting people in, do you have questions? You can go ahead and, and jump on it. Let these guys know. 
Fikre game. It's his first virtual Korea meeting today. Um, Debbie's here from Glasgow, all excited about all their membership benefits. Uh, no questions right now. Uh, but what's one resource that people can do uh, in the CREA private group that really can help your, you, you get the best contractors? Like, let's say I needed a gravel specialist. What's something you could do to find the best gravel specialist out there? I love this question so much. Thank you to whoever asked that question. Move over here. So one of the most valuable things about being a member of CREA is the Facebook CREA page. So I use this really often if I have a plumber that's gone MIA or I need a great electrician and mine's booked up three weeks, I'll go to the CREA Facebook page and I'll search in the archives plumbers or electricians or drywallers because we all share contractors. We all share when we have great experiences with the contractors and we want to recommend them. And we also share the not so great experiences, avoid this guy. So the, where else can you find that type of service and recommendations? The, the Facebook group is really, really valuable for that exact thing, looking for great contractors. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Stacey. Another great question for you is people want to know when is the next lots? It'll be this coming up Tuesday. This Tuesday, you're right. Now, is this going to be in person or is it going to be virtual? We don't know yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure yet. My guess is virtual, but it could be a mix. We're, uh, we're, we're still waiting to see. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. I'm looking for more questions. Let's see. Uh, so hmm. how, do you, how do you guys remember if it's game night or happy hour? Because I always get them so confused. Rob, are you asking us that question? Yeah, sure I am. There wasn't any questions. So go to the CREA website and look on the calendar. The calendar is going to be your best friend to keep you updated on all of the events that are planned for CREA. And that's going to be the easiest way to, for you to find out. And there's also announcements that get sent out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. Oh, Frank, and, that's not, and that's not hard to find. When you go to the home page, just look over to the right and all the upcoming events are there. Uh, that's that's a real good place to to look. You know what another great event is? And Rob, you reminded me. Rob, do you want to tell them just for two seconds about what you're doing at noon with your meetings? Yes, and you guys are going to get this repeated because um, I'm going to pitch it later. But um, we do a see you at noon um, Zoom call. We tried to do them on Fridays. Uh, it was every like three days. Uh, in the beginning of COVID, but now it's about once a week, once every other week. We've got Hampton Scurlock coming on tomorrow, and we're going to tell you about this awesome, awesome competition we're doing for Home of the Innocents, and um, we're going to just talk about the market. It's going to be awesome. Hampton's currently on the board. He's a wizard, um, kind of just blew up and uh, made more money in his uh, investing than his real job, so he just switched over. Um, but yeah, that is tomorrow at noon. It's going to be a real treat. Um, Let's see, I think we have some more questions, guys. Um, Frank Miller's question, we're gonna skip that one for now. Uh, Annie, is there a game board on the table between the beers on game night? Uh, yes, there is on game night. Um, we're playing Robert Kiyosaki's um, cash flow game. It's awesome, and there's a kid's version, guys, which is awesome. And every once in a while, we'll host an event where it's kid-friendly and you can bring all the, all the little ones. Um, Monica Haywood said, do you accept new members year round? Do you have board opportunities? That's a great question. Go ahead, guys. Always accept new members. Board opportunities, they come around every year, John? I thought I was muted. Yes. Yes, we do. And then you're, if you miss the time to run for election, you can always join the subcommittees. We're always looking for volunteers to help out. This is all run by volunteers as well. Um, and then let's see, um, and we do accept new members all year. Fikre, I don't know how to, if that's how you say it, guys. Um, he just completed a form to get the membership directory. He's looking forward to getting it. Uh, and he just joined the Facebook group pending approval. So if you're not in the Facebook group, apply. Lauren will get to it, um, and cross check to make sure you're a member. So you guys can do that anytime. 
Uh, and good job, Pete Gray. Um, Alexis had a question for Alicia. Uh, Ali oh, my, my Alexa just went off. How funny. Uh, Alicia, you're killing it. How did you get the ball rolling? Did you have a mentor to help you that was a former career president? <laughs> I did. I did. Um, I got a mentor who helped me a lot. Um, basically did some burrs, had a really great first deal. Yeah, what's, a, what's a burr for people that don't know? You tell us, Rob. Buy, rent, renovate, refinance, and repeat. It's like- I need to be fast at that. <laughs> yeah, well, and David Green wrote a great book about it. But yeah, continually, so you got started. Uh, Denny, tell you everything he knows? But yeah, I just, you know, Korea, I, I showed up. I networked. I talked to anyone and everyone I could, just like Stacy said. I mean, it's, it's intimidating. There's a lot of people in the room. But I promise you, like, you can learn something from anybody. And snagged a mentor who, who helped me with my first few deals. And then I became comfortable and kind of took off on my own. And, you know, eight doors later, here I am. I'm looking to build a whole lot more. So just don't be intimidated. Just come find me, find Stacy. You know, we'll introduce you to people. We were all new at one time. Alicia will always meet you at Chipotle if you guys want to go. She's, she's always down. <laughs> Wait, you have the t-shirt, right? I did get the t-shirt, yeah, this week. All right, go ahead. If you'll unshare, Jordan, and um, we'll go ahead and get... Thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you, Jordan and Stacy. And that, that's how...